Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget. My name is Chris and I'm here to help you save money and enjoy our sports scuba diving at the same time. Today, cameras, but not just any cameras. We're going to do the iPhone and the GoPro Hero 6. Coming up next. All right, first, I want you to hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell, because these videos are coming out kind of quick now. So, what I'm going to do today, we are going to do the iPhone that I am currently videoing, uh, re recording on right now. It's going to be in a high wheel case against the GoPro Hero 6, I believe is what Shane was doing, in its underwater housing. Okay, guys price comparison there is none because you're using your iPhone um, we all know my like the iPhone 10 is a thousand dollars but they have cases for the iPhone uh, all the iPhones and I think they're starting to have cases for some of the Samsung I'm not so sure um, this is unedited excuse me uncolor corrected we are down at 104 feet and diving the exact same same site all right so let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so, I mean, the GoPro has its good sides, the iPhone has its good sides. I mean, it's, it's, eh, you know what I'm saying? But, now let's get into prices. Well, the price for the iPhone, whatever your price is, plus $112. I think that's what it is. The price of the GoPro Hero 6, which I think is $250, $260, plus its underwater case, which brings it up to around $300, $300-$400 that you have to your hands. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, if you have the money, I can't see why not. If you don't have the money, but you have the money for the iPhone case, I don't see why not on that either. But again, this was at 104 feet. So my next comparison is going to be at 30 to 35 feet. And that's coming up next week. Again, this is like hit or miss. It, it, it depends on what you want to do with it. I haven't got still fit pictures against still pictures for the iPhones because I don't know if we did that. Um, but I can say 
that I recorded these underwater videos in 4K at 24 frames a second or 4K at 30. And I think Shane did his in 1080. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and double check the footage on it and see. And, and but uh, I, there was there was some there was some differences in the views. Whereas one of the things that I've noticed with both cameras, the focal, like you may have something right here, but you're seeing something right here. The focus is here, as close as you can get, and that kind of disturbs me sometimes because that's not what I'm wanting to picture. Um, that I think that's where a camera would actually come in. I have reached out to some people to see if I can try to do a comparison with the Olympus TG6 or 5, either one, I don't care. Just go side by side, video for video, frame for frame, and see how well it does, because it's a point and shoot. It's, it's, it's about the same, roughly the same size as the, the iPhones and the GoPros. I would like to reach out, I've tried to reach out to Sea Life to see if I can get one of their new Reefmaster Minis, Mini 2s that do the, the 4K, or a, even the DC 2000. So nothing brand new and fancy, just want to do a side, side comparison. But nobody, not one person, has contacted me back no matter how much I've videoed. So if one of you guys can get a hold of them and say, hey, I want to do a side by side, I'd love to have it by October because October we're going back to Key Largo. Um, anyway, so that's today's. I'm sorry it took so long. Um, next week's I think is going to be the 26 foot. Actually, I think I'm going to have a special announcement between then and there. I've just got to get some pictures. And um, the special announcement is there is a new species Sorry. I'll see you next time in the video. Just keep scuba diving. Scuba diving in a budget. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button.